Audi RS5, ladies and gentlemen. This is an estate car, beautiful estate car, but this is no soccer mom kind of estate car because we've got a big beast under the bonnet. And this is an angry animal ready to come out. 2.9 liters V6 engine, which produces glorious 450 horsepower and a torque of 600 Newton meters. This is also the same engine as we've got in the Audi RS5, the latest one. I have driven that one, I've done the test on RS5, I'll put the link in the description down below so you can have a look. And despite having the same engines, the cars feel very different to drive. So, you also probably wonder why on earth, I mean, why Audi has gone away from the 4.2 litre V8 engine to this smaller one. Well, Audi has done it for a couple of reasons. One is being the fuel efficiency, about that a little bit later, but the second is being the V6 engine is lighter than the V8 and Audi has a tendency to locate the engines quite a bit in the front. And as I understand, the previous RS4 and RS5, they had a tendency to understeer. Well, I can say there is no understeering in this car at all. It's sharp, it's on point, it's pretty good. So a little bit about the um, this car. We all know RS4 is quick. It is very quick because it does zero to 100 in 4.1 seconds. Yeah, I told you, this is not a soccer mom kind of a state car. RS5 does it in 3.9 seconds, but I understand from other uh, reviewers that you can actually go as fast as below four seconds, zero to 100. I will not be testing that today, unfortunately. Um, the roads are not really suitable. I've got summer tires on. A bit of sun coming, so the picture will get very, very light. The, this car has got a maximum speed of 250 kilometers an hour. This is electronically limited by Audi, and you can have this taken off. But of course, paying a little bit of money. Audi must make some money, right? And you can go as fast as 280 kilometers an hour. If you live near Germany, I recommend it strongly. with the solid quattro, nice and safe in the winter time. However, the car has a general rear-wheel drive bias feeling to it. And in fact, you can have that enhanced by getting the option which is called sport differential. Of course, that's gonna cost you a little bit of money. Speaking of money, RS5 starts from about 98,000 Swiss francs, an equivalent more or less to the US dollar. It is a little bit cheaper than the RS5. The model I'm driving today is not with it, fitted with the adaptive air suspension and I think it's a big mistake because the RS5 I've driven was fitted with adaptive um, air suspension and it was a completely different feeling. It was a much better feeling so it's worth spending the extra few dollars or a few more. Oh dear. Eight speed automatic transmission, what Tiptronic, what Audi calls it and it is a very good gearbox. The same one is as in the RS5. It's responsive, it's quick, um, both in the comfort and dynamic mode. Uh, but if you want to make it a little bit more dynamic, you'll get the paddle shifters and then it is just a monster. But let's get to the best part of this car and that is how it feels to drive it. So, we've got four different modes. The first one being comfort, auto, dynamic and individual. I'm going to talk about comfort and dynamic auto. I'm not a fan of 
letting the car control my actions. Individual, you can just customize based on your mood. So in the comfort mode, this car is a perfect long distance cruiser. It is quiet, it is relaxing, it is very easy to drive. It's the suspension is firm and sporty and you are connected to the road, but it's, you know, it absorbs most of the bumps and imperfections on the road. So it's not a, um, it's, it's by no means a lethargic kind of a car in comfort. It's just a lot more relaxing, surprisingly relaxing for this kind of a car, considering what we've got under the bonnet. The throttle response, even in the comfort mode it is quick and the gearbox does a great job even if you put an auto on the downshift as well in the dynamic mode though yes let's talk about oh yes what I want to mention about in the co in the um, comfort mode what is very good as well is the steering because the steering is uh, still sharp it's very awake it's very active so there's absolutely no understeer going on whatsoever the best one oh, is the dynamic mode. Oh dear, I got frightened of myself. This is a bit slippery. So the first thing you notice, you actually hear it, is the exhaust sound because this is a loud and angry beast. I believe some said that um, RS4 and the V6 engine is not loud enough. Well, let me put it this way, in the dynamic mode, you're gonna piss off your neighbors big time because this is just ready to bark and it's barking all the way. What is also changing dramatically, very dramatically, is the suspension because it becomes really hard and, and sporty. But at the same time, it is still okay. It still absorbs the bumps and humps, imperfections on the road. Uh, do I need to talk about throttle response yeah, this is a <laughs> god almighty this is good this is fast and it's a station wagon for crying out loud but it's a very sexy station wagon because it does the job just beautifully so changing from v8 to v6 well petrol consumption was one of the uh, concerns and well one of the goals i should say what i'm getting is 12 12.1 12 liters which is an incredible result i believe it's a little, it, this is actually a little bit more than rs5 but considering the size of this car it's okay it's more than okay because i've been revving it out i've been going up and down the mountains um i'm currently well it's actually only 600 uh, meters uh, above the sea level but it is pretty um i was going pretty high and the result is incredible. You get everybody staring for days. All they see is just a young, pretty face. But I'm trying to get. so well curvy roads yeah not a problem it loves it it really genuinely loves it it's it's incredible the way it handles and just here here i was thinking it's only bmw that hand, can handle roads so well but i was so wrong because look at this station wagon my goodness this is a one angry beast just I tend to get a little bit speechless because RS4 takes my breath away. So I might not be very talkative, but this is an incredible, this is an incredible car the way it handles the road.
Audi RS4 to me is a supercar dressed in Avant body. Avant is Audi's term for an estate car or, or what my American friends would call it, a station wagon. It puts a lot of double price supercars to shame, especially if we consider its smart fuel economy and its practicality. If you like to have a lot of fun with your car, if you like naughty things in life, you also have a family and or a big dog, then this car is just perfect for you. It's incredible the way it handles the road. It literally takes your breath away. And I'm not getting paid to say all these good things, but I can honestly say this is one of the best cars I have driv ever driven in my life. RS4, RS5. RS4 is hot. It's a hot estate car. RS5 is just a little bit sassier. It's a little bit sexier. That is not as practical so you just have to look what suits your lifestyle what suits your you know what your heart desires it's what's the most important thing in the end that's it for today guys it's been a, an amazing day amazing and i just keep repeating myself thank you very much for watching i wish you a wonderful day whatever that you're doing and i will see you in my next video bye <laughs>